T-Ray, you recording? You quit? Come here, T-Ray. Come here, T-Bone. I want you. Are you interested in my pool? It's for sale. Are you interested in it? Fast shipping. Do you want it, T-Ray? T-Ray, yes or no? You want it? Okay. Now, come over here. Let's pick this bad boy out. I'll get in if you want me to. I'll show you how good it is. I'll get in it. Make sure no one's looking, though. Uh, get over here. Look, look at the entrance. Look at this beauty. Look at this. We got some beer cans in it. Oh, there we go. Here, this is beautiful. Now, don't you want this? Look at it. Look, look, at, it. look at what it comes with, too. Look at this. We got some Bud Light trash. And we got some goodies in here too. Oh yeah. Buy my bathtub. What's up boys? It's me, Landry Grandstaff here. Now, I know this is not like a normal video. It's not. So I'm gonna do this thing that I just invented. It's called vlogging, okay? I'm the first person to ever do it. And this is going to be great. Now, uh, where are we going? We are going to Turner Falls, Oklahoma. Turner Falls, Oklahoma. And what are we going to do there? We are going to be speaking, speaking to some Native American young people at the Native American Turner Falls Youth Camp. Yes, we are. I'm super excited. All right, let's do a little background on John. So what do you do, John? Well, I've traveled around for the last 35 years uh, doing feats of strength. I actually broke the world's record for breaking heights with my head. Uh, 12 feet of ice, 4 feet of concrete with my head in 1995. And so we are headed to Oklahoma. We're going to rip some phone books. Landry's going to snap some bats. And uh, we're going to have a good time. Yeah, well, the problem is John's arm kind of hurts today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace John with, you know, these bad boys. And I'm going to break some stuff. I'm just mad. What are you doing? Oh. Do anything. You don't, John, don't. Seriously. No, no, what? no, no. Don't, don't break the bat. Don't, John, no. 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 What? Don't break the bat. Maybe I'll just do this. No. Okay, I thought I was speaking in front of like, you know, a thousand people. But turns out it's only 40. But that's okay, okay? Maybe it wasn't meant to be. That's okay. Hey guys, it's me, Editing Landry here. And this part of the video needs a little bit of explaining to do. Now, so part of the video is that I'm going to be, um, you know, interviewing having an interview with John, the guy I was traveling with. People who were, who were like planning the whole event, you know, they, they forgot that I was speaking in front of like a thousand kids about my testimony. But that's okay, that is okay, I, I don't even care. I don't even care. A thousand Native Americans landed from around the United States, Oklahoma, all kinds of tribes are represented. And you know what, we just got the opportunity, Landry and I, to speak to some of the seniors that are here at camp. And so Landry, I wanted to just ask you, you got the chance to share about some of the things that God did in your heart this year at camp. I've always struggled with lust in my life. And yeah. like once I really realized that, you know, he's always been there for me and you know, just like, I was doing the wrong thing. And if I started like going on the narrow path and the hard path and the right path, that it's just gonna be an amazing journey. And what I realized was, you know, I was so involved with God and I was just like, wow, this is amazing. But then, like, the day after beach camp, it all came falling down. And then what I realized that day was, you know, first thing you need to do is you need to ask God to repent. And the second thing you need to do is forgive yourself. And the third thing you need to do is continue your journey with God. There's been a lack of standing up for Jesus, and that's what I want to do. I actually did speak uh, once in the camp, and I'm not going to show it because it was not very good. It wasn't very good, guys. I'm just going to be honest with you. It was not good. 
it was probably like the first time like I've I've shared my testimony in a while and it was in front of like students going into, into college senior high students and you know I was trying to be relatable but I was not relatable at all you know you know it doesn't matter I did a lot of things wrong you know I if I you know if I was able to do it over again I would do it there were a lot of things I would have improved on but the only thing that matters is that I stood up for Jesus and I thought I did the right thing you know and it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done but it was worth it and the reason I'm making this vlog you're thinking well this is so different than everything anything I've ever done this is so different well Jesus didn't die for me to be comfortable he didn't die for me to you know do stuff that I wanted to do and you know, there's a, it's, there's a bunch of people that's, that's like not gonna support me and that's okay, that is perfect. That's okay, that's fine. I don't care. The only thing that I do care is I'm what God wants me to do. And I feel like this is what God, me want, God wants me to do this. And honestly guys, I'm not comfortable with this. I am not comfortable sharing my faith on the internet. But, you know, that dude did not die for me to be comfortable. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Love you.